Peace, peace, peace. All right, listen, listen. So, uh, so a man said he wanted me to build on. Because, you know, we get new people come in and the nation is rolling. You, it rolls because of the nature of it. So that's why you see it would be in the middle of a class. It's not like how Europeans run their classrooms that you have to come in versus semester. You can roll right in our class like it's a roll in. We know what level you should be at. You just roll right on in. And um, so if you go to a law school, you could go to a law school on a Tuesday. I like the Tuesday class because it was easy to get to. It was the time of the week, and it just worked better for me. But there's classes throughout the week. So you could go to any of the classes at a law school. Um, I would think. I'm saying a law school in Mecca, but I would think that the most of the law schools that I know of that are active, those are, you could go there to any of those classes, and you're going to get it pretty much as close as they can give it to you of who gave it to them, right? Whoever is the, their enlightener, they're going to try to pass it to you the way their enlightener gave it to them. That's the rule. Uh... And then, you know, most of the enlighteners that deal with enlightenment are going to give it to you as close as they can to the tree going into the tree. It's going to go to the enlightener and then right on up the tree um, as close as they can get it to the root of what they received. So that's why it rolls the way it rolls. But in Asiatic, Right, because I noticed that uh, I did the knowledge to um, the roots from the Europeans' perspective in his Webster's Dictionary and um, different books that he has and uh, different um, definitions that he um, he gives to the people based on um, how he sees it, right? Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Most of the time, if not all of the time, the I'm not saying all Europeans, but the academia of the Europeans, the red knowledge, the acknowledge the government, government schools. When you're talking about state acknowledged, city acknowledged, federal acknowledged, um, they teach... Pretty much the root to everything that is right and exact is Greece, Macedonia. You know, they always bring it back there. But that's their root. They're supposed to go back to their root. Everybody's supposed to go back to their root. You see how it correlates? Like, we go back to our root. The other brethren and other knowledge of self, they're going to go back to their root. All right. Um, back to Asiatic. So now... In the Asiatic definitions, so you have the European definitions and you have the Asiatic definitions. Because now, of course, there was a time when it was Europeans and Caucasus Mountains and uh, Georgia and uh, Caves of West Asia and Pilon. You had that as a start, really, Pilon. From Pilon, you seen Europeans run up into the caves of West Asia, but f- but did not get run up into the caves of West Asia. They went into the caves of West Asia, and they went into the caves of East Asia. They went to both caves, all the way across the top, going all the way over to what they call today USSR, Russia, and moving on in c- closer to the Pacific Ocean. And eventually, you get near Alaska, right? They were all on the top. The uh, caves where the coal and everything was at, going all the way across from, I would say, by then they had, they was, they was pretty deep. So in the days, Germany, going all the way across, uh, Poland, um, Russia, 
all the way across Siberia, all that area. That's when you, what we was building on that when they went down into India, how they, 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 they called them the Aryans in India. Um, actually, they stole that name because... Aryan name was really started off with Asiatics. They they grabbed that too. I mean, even the names they carry of their own came from us. We gave them that name. Happening is, the European world is so embedded in our world, just like we're so embedded in its world, that we use both sides as people to make a judgment call on what we think is the truth in science or religion or culture or creed, whatever the case may be. Now, I'm not saying to the people that this one's right and this one's right. I'm just going to show you something, how to look at something a little different than what you used to look at it. When you look at the word etymology Asiatic and you look it up. Etymology. Right, and you say to yourself, okay, let's, let's look up the word Asiatic and... and uh, We'll see what, what uh, how they talk about it. And once you start seeing where they start talking, they end up with Greek. Before that, they're going to go with Latin, right, and, and then English. Because the empire, the English empire has kind Etymology. of absorbed the Spanish Etymology. and the French, French empire. And the Goths, the Gothic uh, Germany, um, they absorbed them too, as far as uh, Anglo Saxon, Dutch, German. Those tribes have kind of merged. And England that was the last group to control. They're still in control. They haven't had their full term, I guess you could say. Uh, they get to do the part where they're inside of the War of Armageddon. Because <clears throat> the other ones was ruling when it was their position to rule, to do whatever it is that the so it shall be written, so it shall be done. You know, people will say, oh, that doesn't make sense that they did that. But it may not make sense to you, but it was written that it would happen. So a lot of things happen that don't make sense, but that doesn't stop them or negate them from happening. So um, we bring you back to Asiatic uh, just on the fact that I know a half a dozen, if not more, personally, Asiatics. Um, some of them are AZ, but it's Asiatic, zigzag, zig, you just AZ, like that, right? Um, we know these people, and we know that word to be. We know that word that if you're going to... Uh, European, right? When you go into the European world and you um, looking into the definitions of Asiatic, you say to yourself, Etymology. right? Um, the Europeans, um, etymology, they use that to uh, tell you. In so many words, the origin of a word. But they only take you up to the part where it hits Greece when you inside of... Etymology. And that's a fact. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's man. what they look at another book. Now, I stumbled on it based on 120. But nevertheless, I stumbled on it. Um, because I was intrigued with masonry and Masonic rites, uh, rituals, it made me look into other um, sciences in the world of fleshless things. So you start going into... Uh, other sciences, Etymology. and you um, you keep your eye on other uh, distant things that are happening so that you can balance yourself out. So the balance is, if you 
if you go back and you look at Asiatic in uh, in the um, Asiatic. If you look at the Asiatic world in say uh, one hundred and twenty, you can look at the Asiatic world in um, Circle Seven Quran. Asiatic. You can see the Asiatic world where it's manifesting itself plain in daylight. For the original people in the wilderness of North America. Right? Mm-hmm. So, um, you could do that. You could see it. You could say to yourself, I can go right there and I can see it. And it can see me. And we can see mm-hmm. each other. And once that takes place, then you know that. You have to see those definitions because if you look at 120, the um, the original man who studies 120 uses the definitions of 120 and mathematics alphabets. We use those definitions. We don't use the definitions of the European because we were using his definitions. We would have wisdom in front. Might not even see knowledge because they'll say something like wisdom, strength, and beauty, and you don't even know knowledge is there. So, once you once you understand that you have to see the other side, that's why you get knowledge yourself. It's not to stop you from studying uh, the Bible. It's not to stop you from studying Genesis, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. It's not to stop you from going into Psalms and Proverbs. That's not what we're doing. We're trying to let you get a different perspective on that sea of those manifestations. What's really manifesting? Do you see it from a European's perspective? Do you see it from the European's perspective that he taught the people who we had in the prisoner of war camps? Or are you seeing it from the original man's perspective? And then you know about their perspectives. Now, once you do that, then you understand that. The European renamed the areas of Earth. The new names he gave them are Africa, Middle East, Asia, um, I mean, you got your little island places like Japan and islands, island continents like Australia, right? He renamed them North America, South America, Central America, United States of America, uh, Alaska and Canada, and, right? You got the different little carved out areas in. South America, Brazil, Venezuela, et cetera, et cetera, Colombia, right? So you see all that from Alaska to Chile. And, and we already went through the manifestation in class on where you can walk from the Rock of Gibraltar all the way to the end of Russia, all the way, all the way across to the Pacific Ocean. And you can walk from there all the way to the so-called Middle East, and you can come right on across and if the fake Suez Canal was in there, you could walk right on by that and walk on down into South Africa. So that's one continent in the Asiatic world. In the European world, they got that as Europe, Asia, and Africa. It's like Middle East. They're like all different continents. They, got, they call themselves the seven continents. We know the island continents like Greenland, Iceland, Australia, Japan, um... Madagascar, uh, who are, oh, Sicily. Um, I'm looking at the planet while I'm looking at it in my head, right? You can look on the map. You look, look, look. Um, the Caribbean in itself, all together, those is like one island continent. If you look at the whole thing, Cuba, um, Jamaica, um, the Republic of, that they split in half with the Haitians and the Dominican and you got Puerto Rico on the other side, and you go up to the West Indies and Trinidad, Tobago, blah, 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 all right? All of that, the West Indies, the U.S. Virgin Islands, that's what it is, the Virgin Islands, right? 
all of that is, that's a continent to shelf itself right there. Up into Key West, Florida, going all the way across that whole coast, the whole Gulf of Mexico is something by itself, right? And you got the Falkland Islands, and that covers everything beside um, Antarctica, right? So he renamed it that. And he calls it, he uses one of the old names, Earth, to call the planet Earth. But he got that out of his Greek mythology. That's why all the planets got Greek mythology or Roman mythology, which is Greek mythology, which really is Macedonian mythology. We just showed and proved it right there. All the, all the constellations they got from Greece that really came from Kemet and your people, Dogon, uh, Mayans, all that is you. That's you. In the black man's body, there exist two germs, a black germ and a brown germ, right? All right. In the planet Earth, on the planet Earth, and around the planet Earth, exist two people, ancient people. They black and brown. That's a fact. You can't change that. I can't change it. It's a fact. You could do your own research and find that. That's what the planet was. The new race of people, the Europeans, whichever way you take how they were made manifest, you know they're the newest of the group. It's a fact. We all know it, they know it, everybody know it, let's not front. Right? You can use whatever theology or metaphysical story or whatever you got to wonder how they got there. Everybody got their story. They're all kind of similar. But in today's society, they act like that didn't happen. And that this new upstart religion called Darwinism is is uh, the real shit. They renamed it in the different little sects that they have. Evolution, flat world, all the rest of them. It's the still, they still come from him. Or they either come from the Roman Catholic Church. They could come from that side. They, sometimes they have an ad mixture and all that. Usually with the flat world, they're added. They're mixtures. They're ad world. They're added. They're either the Darwin side in that or, they're, or they are uh, uh, religious side. The Christian still is still Christian. It still comes from, even if they're trying to be Christian, but they want to be a little uh, Gnostic with their Christianity, they might want to do that, but it's still it's Christianity, and it's from a European sea, not an Asiatic sea. Even if you see an Asiatic black man in the wilderness in North America, and he's a, and he has a, and he's a Christian, he's still Christian from a European's perspective, not from his... Not from the Asiatic. He's not hailing from Abyssinia. He's definitely not hailing from Abyssinia. He's hailing either from the Roman Catholic Church or the Protestant. He's either coming from East, if he's in the wilderness of North America, I'm not saying there's not other Christians, but I'm saying he's either coming from the Roman Catholic Church, if he's in America, or he's coming from the Protestant movement out of Martin Luther, the German. There's no other one. There's only those two. Everything that came, came after them. That's already documented, so we're going to go right back on the Asiatic on that. So now when you start, do, when you understand all of that, you digest all of that, now you say to yourself, all right, so the next level for Asiatic would be then we got to go to the ancient languages, the ones that go from right to left, and see what they say about Asiatic. And once you do that, you'll find the key. So that's how I ended up doing it. But eventually what happened is when you get into masonry, you're going to get to 3, 5, and 7. I already knew about 3, 5, and 7 for my mathematics. So it struck real quick to me. That's why I knew when they said the unconscious, who would, you would be casting your Jews amongst the swine, they changed the Kabbalistic tree of life to hide it from them. But if you was an adat, you're supposed to tell the student the key. The key is 357. Of course, all things have been revealed. It was, the seal was cracked, and then it was opened all the way. You see those two sevens. We showed you that, and you're the third seven. That's how it rolled. It did do that. It did that, you know. That's why the foundation be right and exact, and it, the end product is the babies. They, they coming out with their own manifestation. They showed and proving it that way, right? So, uh, well, once we went back to Asiatic, and we knew that um, the original man was the Asiatic black man. See, because before we didn't know, we didn't know we was Asiatic. 
We just knew we was black colored Negro, Ethiopian, Negro. We knew we was that. That's what the European reclassified and renamed us that. You can't find in history any of those tribes. What tribes are those that was in the original nation that had those names? See, he made that all up. And once he did that and came up with the whole definition, um, you know, all the different uh, rules and regulations to certain words and phrases, and at the end of the day, where you go? You end up uh, in Greece. But he's supposed to send you to Greece. That's what he do. Send you to Greece. Why would he send you anywhere else? I wouldn't send you anywhere else if I was him. That wouldn't make sense. Three, five, seven. You're gonna see that. That's gonna, that's gonna pop up on its own. You don't even have to do anything. It's gonna come. All right. So you hit MM. Once you hit MM, that's when you're gonna really see it. Cause that's when you understand. Um, three, five, seven. That's when you're gonna see that. Now, once you see that it's three, five, seven. Then you're going to know when you look at the tree of life and they got it 358. Something's out of sync. Why are they connected but they don't, they don't have the right number? Somebody's wrong. So once you go into the lesson and you find out that they did that to hide it from the defamed, as they put it. I know it looks like we're leaving it yet, but we're not. It's all connected. Watch, it's relevant because it still aims at... Ancient Hebrew. Now, there's a difference between Hebrew letters that you see today and the ancient Hebrew alphabet that you've seen in ancient times. That manifestation is much different than what you see the Jewish people have today. The Jewish people follow what the ancient Hebrews, or try as much as they can to follow what the ancient Hebrews lay down, as much as they can as being Europeans. All right, because at the end of the day, they're trying to bring the European nation up, not the Asiatic nation. All right, they're trying to control the planet Earth with the rest of the Europeans. All the Europeans are in control of Earth right now. Right? Okay, so the only the coons are talking about is equality and we all together because we not. But anyway, when you hit the 357, that gives you the key to knowing that it ain't too, it ain't, uh, three five eight, and it ain't two four. First time I was able to actually confirm the three five seven was with Hop, and that was the Beth and Atlantic days, right? And Beth and Atlantic, you was traveling to Utica Avenue, and going to Jesse Quality Bookstore. That's those days, right? So once we seen that, that was E A F C M M. So we saw that, and then. From there, that also made me cross-reference and go with ancient masonry. So once you go into ancient masonry, you leave Greece. You know, first you're going to leave Scott, Scotland, Scottish Rites, which is really France. I don't even know why they call it Scottish Rites, because it's France. And Lafayette is France. What are you talking about? Um, the Franks have been to Kemet before those English had got there. Is it from the Franks then? Um, prior to that, if you're talking about the Knight Templars, the Knight Templars were down with the Roman Catholic Church before they were down with the Protestant movement. They only went with the Protestant movement because the Roman Catholic Church and the uh, French government, which was a monarch in those days, the king, they conspired because they owed, it was really by dough, they owed the, tur they owed the, the, the uh, Knight Templars a whole bunch of money. From the wars. And since it was an order, it could last those 99 years. The money that they owed, they owed like 90 years of more war that they had been waging with the Crusade Wars trying to take the north of Africa. Prior to them, you had the same war going on with the, over the trying to take over north Africa with the Romans. Before that, you had the same war trying to take over the north of Africa with Macedonia. Alexander the Great was their best warrior. He was the one that got his name in the Maccabee. The rest of them ain't in there. You hear about Rome in the New Testament, but that's only because they put 
uh, Jesus on that X, and they try to make it new, not today, like it's a cross, but they really had him on an X. But, um, that's another story. We're getting right back to this age. Yeah, but you see how it all correlates. It all goes together. Um, once you hit the Asiatic inside the Kabbalistic tree of life, you immediately see that Asiatic means matter, equality, anything that takes up space. They are planets. Planets are something that grow to me from the beginning. That's what you immediately see. That Asiatic means that world of the flesh, of the matter, of that, where the atoms, the protons, and neutrons are rotating around each other, manifesting a physical composition, cell structure, or whatever the case may be, within the scientific structure on the physical realm. That's what you see in. But the point that I'm making is how ancient the word Asiatic is. It goes back into the ancient times. It's not like the English. That's an English word. It's not an English word. You see, if you look in their books, they say, oh, no, that word came from the Greeks. The Greeks got it from the original people, the black and brown seeds. In the black man body, they exist two germs of black, germ and brown. In the black man body, they exist two germs of X and a Y. See the correlation and born it through your what? Mathematics. Uh... We're going to take it right back to Asiatic. Now, this was the Kabbalistics and where it all manifested from. I, me trying to get born it to you, it's better for you to just read it as it's rolling through. And every once in a while, just pause the, the uh, video and read some of that, what you see you, throughout the videos. Go back to about the last 50. And you can redo them again and look and you can pause and you can see which is which. And you can read it for yourself. You can see how ancient and old those words are. Those Elijah and Noble Jew Ali and W didn't make those words up themselves. They brought that over. You had to bring the knowledge over as a quotation because the European wouldn't let you bring the lessons in. The story goes that Noble Jew Ali had went overseas to bring back a whole bunch of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And he had crates of books and information he got from the old countries in those languages, like in them old ancient languages. They wouldn't let him in. He had to go back to those temples and give back their offering and do some more knowledge so he could put almost all of it in his head and then come back over here with it in his brain. So WD had to do the same thing. That's why we quote our what? Lessons. They always try to put you in the belly of the beast. And now you can't be in there teaching if you can't quote your lessons. Just recently they started acting like it was all right to have them. But I'm sure in the system it's a little different. That's the, what the federal government said. Why the federal law be doing something now? You know what they say? The struggle continues. You need to look at it from another perspective. Don't stop with Greece like the two-letter fraternities or the Masonic laws. They stop with Greece. And all of them be stuck in with the guards of Europe that they know nothing of. They stay right in there. And they still be colored Negro, Ethiopian, Black, Coon, Jigaboo, Negro, Negra, Negra, whatever. Coon jigaboos and dancing and singing for the white man. Still be unconscious, eating swine, watch worshiping white Jesus wearing a cross the whole nine yards. But they be gangsters. They ain't cooning and dancing. We got them too. I mean, it's nothing absolute. Just like I said, you got people that's righteous, but they still doing. Un you got people that's unrighteous, and they doing righteous. It's the war I'm getting. Lord, what you want from me? I'm just telling you what it is. I got them from the lessons. I just be born in it. What it born. That's all. It ain't like I'm sitting here making yeah. this. I could pull the books up and show you. Well, gee, how did you find that out about Asiatic? Why you say it's so old? Okay, you telling me that ancient Hebrew is younger than the Greece nation and that uh, the Greeks can define how old an origin of a word is better than the original people can? Remember when we found out it wasn't a pyramid, it was a kuti hufu? That was like the late 80s, early 90s when we found that out. And we was like, oh, it ain't never really been a pyramid. That's how the Greeks call it. We call it a kuti hufu. All right? Now, but they know where I'm coming from and where I'm trying to aim you at. Like, that way, son. Go that way. Like Big Pun said, go that way, you know. And it's all right. You remember that? Them days. When we was doing that. 
Remember at that time, what was we doing then? We was making those moves with the plates and all that. Remember I said that the fighting DMV ain't going to free our people. I hear you, but that ain't going to do it. Fighting the IRS, that ain't going to free our people. We'll just be fighting them. Nah, that's not going to do it. Knowledge itself is the key. From the CN Bay side, when they was dealing with law, we rolled on the plates, we went against the DMV. Then you, if you go against DMV, you're automatically going against the state and the insurance companies. You think they're not coming with the police? So, that wasn't working. Um, even though we beat them in the courts, they, let, they didn't really come at us that hard after we beat them in the courts and we all made that treaty and agreed to... You know, agree to disagree. Filter through them. So anyway, long story short, we get back to Asiatic. These are all correlating to how we got there. You know, because um, CM Bay and them was 3rd, 33rd, 360 degree free Morse Master Mason. AA, AA222141 and all that. You know, we was doing that, right? Getting those degrees. Because the rule was in the 80s, this was the rule. Everybody was going to go out and fan out to all these different places and get our lessons, and we're going to bring them back home to the nation. We're going to come up. That was the initial plan. We had to modify the plan because we took so many casualties when we all went out there by the time. We didn't have no full platoons anymore, man. We went out there with battalions, came back with 5% of what we left. Anyway. That was the road to Asiatic. And that's when we knew that the Wisdom Builder Destroy Degree was right and exact. Because once we had went through all of those trials and tribulations, we saw the rules and regulations which are not being manifested in this lesson. And that's my word is bond. That's why I'm telling you, man, Asiatic is right and exact, man. You go to, you're going to see Asiatic correlates with Malkuth. And where's my Kabbalistic tree of life, people? There you go. Y'all know I'm saying Asiatic and Malkuth is not only the same things that manifest, but those four worlds. Asiatic is in there. That was written before I was born. You so I want. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to let the facts manifest itself. You telling me that ancient Hebrew and those ancient teachings, it said we had been uh, chasing after mystery God for trillions of years. We came to the agreement there is no mystery God. So if we had been doing that for trillions of years, then we must have been on the, how long we've been manifesting if we were doing that for trillions of years. There's no way that the Greeks got older ancient history than we. You don't got to bear witness to it all if you don't want to. That's not going to stop you from having knowledge yourself. But I'm telling you, Asiatic is right and exact. Uh, the Greeks don't have no monopoly on knowledge. And there's a book called, um, you're going to be able to get that book. And you'll see how they they stole the legacy and made it, everybody think it's the, um, the Greeks. You know, John G. Jackson does Man, God, and Civilization. That's a, that's another good one. Jump on that. That'll take you right there, you know, and blow that book. That propaganda that teaches you to think that they're the root and you're not. It's not that they just teach that they're the root. Teach that they're, you're the root. Here's another good one. Get this one. The Miseducation of the Negro. African American Images. Get that. Uh, the Kabbalah. Right? But if you look into the general principles of Kabbalah, you'll see that uh, they have it the way that they were using it to defame, so they wouldn't, so they, they, the unconscious wouldn't really know what they had. Um, I'll be saying, yo, if you want to deal with that, that side, if you want to really study masonry, masonry ain't sitting in the they in there doing three, five, seven, all that. They just doing the same old rituals over and over. If they was doing that and going into the science of it, like you'll see the Prince Hall masons, they'll be quoting their lessons. Most of the other lodges, they, trust me, unless you try to get into them white lodges, and they still not going to take you into the esoteric. Because when they in there, they get to be racist if they want to, because it's just them. You know, and they in there plotting on how they're going to genetically modify a virus so it only attacks your DNA. That's what they be that shit At the Guidestone, they want to bring the population of the planet down. 
from like 500 million. 7 so. billion people on the planet. If they bringing it down to 500 million, it's written in stone. Yeah. Who do you think's up there, them big ass stones? You think regular Europeans who can't even read and write that is racist did that? No. And we use the word racist wrong. They're prejudiced. They're not really racist till they try to attack you. That's a shit like Tulsa, Oklahoma. That was two levels of racism. That was government level and civilian level. But when he's right here individually like Zimmerman did with his little racist ass, and he don't even know he's not really white. You're not really a white person. You're a Hispanic, but you got some European in you from the Spaniards of Spain, but even the Spaniards of Spain are amalgamated and miscegenated because the Moors ruled them for 700 years. You ain't even no real European at the end of the day. You don't got pink nipples. I can see it in your fat face. Trying to flip off on Jay-Z's. You're killing everybody with that dumb shit you doing. You're an idiot. Anyway, the real shit is Asiatics, and that's how ancient it is. But C.C. Zane blows up there 357. There's a book called Ancient Freemasonry. The Spiritual Meaning of Masonic Degrees, Rituals, and Symbols. C.C. Zane. Get that. If you want to study ancient masonry and find out the key why I say 357, that just confirms what my mathematics already said, 357. Because your lessons don't say 358. They say 2468. 10. It don't say, and it say 357. What kind of lessons you got? Your lessons don't do that? I don't, I'm talking about regular people who do regular science. They don't even got mathematics. You telling me that that ain't a right pattern? 357? Two, four, eight. Yes, it is. One, six, nine, ten. That's the exact. That's the pattern. Don't tell me the pattern. Here's a pattern for you. One, one, two, three, five, eight. That's a pattern. Those are. That's how the planet and the universe rotate around itself. So that's all I'm saying. It correlates. That's part of it. The correlation. Then you go and you look up ancient Hebrew letters and you see those letters and you cross-reference that with the information that Zachariah Sitchin, uh, that's what you do. You get Zachariah's books. I'm telling you what books to get. And you can do your research right there. You can also go online, but online ain't really all that great because you got to know what you're really looking for. If you know that you're looking for Zachariah Sitchin and you go online, that's different. But other than that, it's so much information. You yeah. That's why you have to have a guide. 120 years a guide to show you how to get back to being Asiatic. Let me say this. This is my word is born. 120 lessons is 100% right and exact. Truth. That wisdom builder destroyed it. I mean, uh, yeah, that wisdom builder destroyed it. I like that one too. But I'm saying the wisdom degree in the 1 to 10. The country is like 70% racist. Not, not. Uh, like you, like they be 70 to 85 percent racist, and that's my word is born. Since 1776, it's been this way in this government because all the people who are in office, Alec, and all that, they the ones that made up those laws. That's the that's what makes me think that if it's not that, then show me wrong. The people who made up the laws with Alec going all the way back to 1776, those people. Uh, they not the wisdom builder to short degree? Which part of the lessons they are? They that. <laughs> Trust me, they are. That's who they are. And they said all of those things throughout the years against you. You got to realize they at war with you. This European got online the other day. This is correlating back to being Asiatic because they trying to make a genetic. They've been trying to genetically wipe you out. Since Margaret, and don't think Hillary wasn't down with it. Go look at her old videos. She loves Mark, and if she loves if she loves eugenics. That means she wanted you to be smashed too. I'm like my man. Uh, I voted for it too. I'm like y'all, but I was thinking at least she was talking a little different when it came time to the election. Right. She was. Yeah, I bear witness that I shouldn't have said what I said about super predator. That was racist. And, Okay. What y'all been doing in this country as a government that is set up today from 1776 to 2018? Y'all, you ain't been? Okay, look. Let's do the timeline on them. 
Fast timeline. We're going to go from 15, 15, from 1492 to 1555. Well, they, came. they came before Columbus. That's the book. Go look at that book. All right. Now, we're going to go from 1555 all the way to 1865. Oof. Just use the 136 on that one, 379 years ago. From, go from John Hardy Hooker Jr. all the way up. Yeah. Willie Lynch. That's right. My man. Willie Lynch. That's part of that, all right? Then go up to the next level. We're going to hit 1865. You had a Reconstruction order period. Reconstruction. Um, Ajax is trying to come up. They got like 78, 79 cities, like Tulsa, Oklahoma, and or townships or whatever. It's about 78 of them. Man, they systematically went through and destroyed them all before 1920. By 1930, ain't none left. They done wiped them almost all out. Y'all got little hideouts and shit. It's real dangerous in America um, in those days. Wow. You, you know, the Buffalo soldiers and all of them was trying to protect townships because it was real hostile in those days. The whites knew that not to go into those places when those type of people were people who came back from the Civil War. Same thing. If you ever look at Roots, you see how when dude come back from the Civil War, he got to come and bring it. Because it's right after the war is over. They still trying to be off the chain. He had to come back and serve them, let them know that he wasn't him. Well, that's what was going on. So the black men who was coming back from the wars, they was a different kind of black man now. They wasn't no coons no more. Same thing when those black men came back from Vietnam. They was a different kind of black men now. It was a whole other black man. World War One, World War Two, the Korean War. Those black men, they be really afraid of and they try to wipe them out. The other ones that they're afraid of is the ones like Huey P. Newton and them that went to college. Universities got PhD. Them kind of black men and women, they were scared of. Angela Davis and all that. Chesms, they ran her out the country. Um... Um, um, Kwame Ture, they ran them out the country. They, they, them African leaders that was in Africa trying to make it a united Africa where each one of the countries in Africa would be a state. They're globally trying to wipe us out. you got to realize that you're at, they're at war with you, but you're not at war with them. you at war with them. Black people be killing themselves. Up. I mean, the propaganda is there to make you do it, but you still do it. But now the self will stop shit from going down because of the way your whole manifestation would be manifested. And if we over here in the wilderness of North America don't set it off and do it, it ain't going to get done. They did it with the old world and they did what they did. All of what they did got us up to that point where we could go back and look at that ancient stuff and know that's us. And those ones in, 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 uh, in the Central America, my... Uh, they call them Olmecs and all that. We could go back and look. They did what they did. It's the new world now. It's up to us now. We got to get up from up under there. They showed it. They knew that this was going to happen because it was written already. We're going to leave you enough information to prove that you are the original man. And you're going to be able to come up out of this. But it's, it's not an easy task because, you know, it's constantly coming at us from all kinds of different angles. But we can't stop us. We got a natural talent that's contu- that's intuitively in nature it's connected it's relevant it's it's sequenced we got a rhythm that's it can't be only we have that they, they can't stop that rhythm and that beat if you have that in you then you have asiatic in you even though you might be trying to go more toward the european side because they're in rule right now and you feel like they're in a better position but you've been reading their books you ain't been reading your books you know, just because you speak Portuguese or Spanish or French or, or Patois or, or Gullah, and you, you know, all that came from them conquering us and them making us do what we do. And so we put, we, we, we mix our stuff in with theirs. They did. Our ancient ancestors did that to preserve some of it for us. That's why you'll see the way Santeria looks like Yoruba and all of that mixed in with the Catholic. That was the put the little bit of proof in there for you to know where you're supposed to really be aiming for. That's what they, that's, you know, the drum and all that. We got, you know, we ain't no stronger now. We can see, yeah, some of us do got five billion dollars, like Jay-Z and Beyonce in them. So in the light, we'd have to make major moves for them to be able to even act like they want to help black people come up, because if they was to try to do something as themselves and act like they was going to be a leader and bring us all together, and they'll be like Tupac. You feel me? It doesn't...
They was way too rude. We all got to do it almost at the same time, and then they, you know, who you gonna get? And plus, a lot of Europeans. I would say like thirty percent of the Europeans. When I say the seventy percent, if we take the Europeans in America, and we make them a hundred percent, the hundred percent of the Europeans in America, only thirty percent of them ain't racist. The other seventy percent of racist. Gee, that's my word. They might not even know they're racist, but they'll be racist in the culture. Like. Oh, they shouldn't treat them like that and this, that, and the third. But then they'll still say behind closed doors they can't govern themselves. We have to govern them. So that shows you they're racist. They might not even be the racists that are bigots, but they still got racism and they're racist. They say racist to themselves. They believe that hype that they done taught everybody and themselves Way back in the days before these devils are around now even knew what was going on. But the old school ones taught that, that old school science that stems from Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. No such people, but they made that. So you got to break off from that. So if you break off from that, then you'll understand why Asiatic is right and exact. And I'm out. Peace. Give birth to. Born means complete in its season. Birth means complete in its natural form. For example, the complete numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There are only 9 digits to the mathematics. 1 to 9 plus 0. 0 equals cipher, and this cipher is only used for crossing over a bridge or transformation. The distance between 1 and 9 are the trials and errors, which are from 2 to 8, that you have to go through. There are 7 trials and errors to be born. We want to be successful and able to give birth to, for we were born to give birth to a new nation of people. So we must learn all mathematical units carefully. Here are some meanings of the first three numbers. One is knowledge, two is wisdom, three is understanding.